The Aryan immigration uh, theory that the Aryans actually moved into India, it tries to rule that out. Something that the RSS has been saying for quite some time. NCRT has removed at least three references to the demolition of the Babri Masjid. This actually since 2014 is the fourth round of revision slash changes that the NCRT has carried out in the school textbooks. Um, the most recent one I should mention is as of now is just in three subjects that's sociology, history and political science. And uh, the most a majority of the changes are in the nature of just, you know, updating new facts and figures. You know, if there is a um, if there is an outdated labor survey data, they've updated that. But in that uh, uh, in that set of changes, what's interesting is that there are two chapters, one of history, class 12 uh, history textbook. There's a chapter on the Harappan civilization. And another on uh, the recent political developments in the country post-independence and that's a chapter in a class 12 political science textbook. These two textbooks have undergone some, uh, I wouldn't say extensive but very significant changes and that's significant because if I speak to you first about the changes made in the Harappan civilization chapter, uh, they have essentially um, in the name of update, uh, you know, updating textbooks and one should of course update textbooks with latest facts and figures. But uh, what they have done is that they have taken the recent genetic research from archaeological sources at the Raki Gadi site in Haryana. The findings of that research uh, and, and they have tried to update that chapter on Harappan civilization with the findings of that research. Uh, but what is interesting is that they have used that research to make some assertions um, which are not exactly, I mean, that, that, that's pretty debatable. That's not exactly the conclusions that have been arrived at by this genetic research. But the findings of that research, at least NCIT quotes that research to make a couple of interesting assertions, a lot of it that seem to align with what uh, right-wing uh, historians, pre-Marxist historians have been saying. Uh, one, of course, is that uh, they try and rule out the Aryan immigration uh, theory that the Aryans actually moved into India. It tries to rule that out. Something that the RSS has been saying for quite some time. Uh, secondly, uh, they are basically, it's essentially, it's not really an assertion, but maybe a call for more research to see whether the Harappans and the Vedic people are the same or in other words whether Harappans were actually the Vedic people. And another assertion that was made uh, was that it, it, that, that it seems like Harappans had some form of democracy in their society. Uh, this of course is up for debate. Each of three, these three points made um, are deeply contested and, and I, I must mention that this is a subject, this is a topic which is fraught with ideological perspectives. Um, so that of course is, uh, um, that would sum up, sum up the changes made in the history textbooks. Coming to what they did to the class 12 political science textbook, um, in fact that specific chapter that I mentioned on uh, the changes made uh, rather the political important political events in India post independence and this this chapter essentially covers um, the Ayodhya dispute, it covers the Mandal Commission, um, it covers the assassination of Rajiv Gandhi, sort of these four to five important sort of political milestones which shaped the political landscape of the country um, and it does have about three pages dedicated to the Ayodhya dispute talks about you know opening of the locks and everything. What was interesting here is that NCRT has removed at least three references to the demolition of the Babri Masjid which took place in 1992. Apart from that there are these three pages in the chapter outside of these three pages three references have been removed and those three pages NCRT has updated the text to sort of highlight uh, or rather focus more on the Ramjan Bhumi the temple movement and the, uh, the Supreme Court judgment of 2019, which basically permitted uh, the building of the temple, which was inaugurated early this year. Uh, 
one still has to wait and see what is the nature of the exact changes made in those three pages specifically dedicated to the Ayodhya dispute. But what is glaring and interesting is that outside of those three pages, they have dropped three references. I would actually point uh, out that if we just look at those specific three changes which are public right now, two of them, one is in the summary of the chapter, that's the first page of, of the chapter where they essentially summarize what we're going to cover going forward. In that, uh, the, the Ayodhya, uh, the demolition is mentioned that's been dropped. In the exercise section of the chapter, which is right at the end, there is a question which asks students to arrange five, four or five significant political events in the chronology of, their uh, uh, chronology of how it happened. And there, of course, the demolition is one of the options and that has been replaced with the Supreme Court judgment of 2019 as an option. And third is there was a whole paragraph sort of summarizing what led up to the dispute and in from that paragraph that's been re and how the demolition in itself could have led to the rise of Hindutva politics and the rise of BJP associating the, uh, those events to the rise of BJP. So that's been dropped and sort of the demolition in a way has been replaced with the phrase there were several political changes in the country.